Uh, welcome to JCE Connect. In the yesterday uh, class, uh, uh, we were discussing about uh, the importance of sanitation and uh, uh, why the sanitation is required for uh, uh, in Indian conditions and how our uh, Indian condition is uh, different from the other countries. So, uh, if when we say that it is uh, uh, the importance of sanitation is uh, required for the Indian conditions, so we should know uh, what is the meaning of sanitation and uh, and how exactly it is different from um, the previously what you learned uh, the water supply and treatment techniques so that we already discussed so we'll just uh, revise it for about uh, two to three minutes what we have discussed uh, um, in the previous classes so now the sanitation is of course it is uh, the process of keeping places free from dirt infection disease etc by removing the waste trash and garbage by cleaning streets washing yourself and safe drinking water etc so why the need of the sanitation is uh, more important so first of all always we concern about uh, the importance for health that is the first need if the sanitation is good sanitation is required we always have to concentrate on the health itself so then a good economic investment also <clears throat> that we already discussed in detail next important for the social development when the health is uh, improving then of course the economic value of the people also go on increasing then then it will increases the social development also so and it has the uh, importance in the environment also then of course uh, it should be achievable whatever uh, we are talking about the good sanitation it should be achievable also so when it comes to the health uh, the good sanitation can prevent you from getting diarrhea and can also help prevent the other serious diseases also then it has the economic investment also that we already discussed when you practice good sanitation your family saves money on health care and the treatment so of course increasing the social development and the overall improvement in the environment also so actually whatever we are talking about the good sanitation it has to be achieved starting from me to starting from uh, end to or uh, the society also so normally this poor sanitation causes many infectious diseases uh, some of the uh, diseases like diarrhea malaria and some of the typhoid like diseases also uh, causing because of the bad sanitation process so normally this human excreta as uh, an important uh, uh, material or which causes the many transmission of uh, the diseases like typhoidium and uh, hepatitis b so that normally we can call it as typhoid trachoma is of course one more disease uh, which is going to uh, cause by the poor sanitation of course this is going to happen with a lot of lack of education also normally if you see this diagram i have explained it how exactly the disease is going to spread uh, in the environment how exactly the poor sanitation is causing the diseases and how to prevent the disease from spreading of course we have to use a clean toilet use your hands of course the general guidelines but if you use it very strictly we can stop by spreading many diseases 
so first use of uh, safe and clean bottles uh, buckets to carry store water on it and uh, food should be covered with the proper utensils so this is how we can see this diagram normally it will uh, uh, transfer through the fluids flies fields and fingers so how exactly if it is transmitting if you can ask me it will be causes through the fluids through the flies through the fields and through the fingers this i have already discussed in detail so now um, when it comes to the government of india uh, maybe we have stopped in this uh, uh, part many government uh, projects or government uh, um, initiations have been taken uh, to improve the sanitation so first of all uh, some of the uh, initiations will discuss in the further slides so all indian cities and towns become totally sanitized healthy and livable and ensure and sustain good public health and environmental outcomes for all their citizens with a special focus on the hygienic and affordable sanitation facilities for the urban poor and women this is what the objective of the government of india has taken the initiation to improve the sanitation process so goal 7 of the millennium development goals which calls on the countries to have by 2015 the proportion of the people without improved sanitation facilities and india's more ambitious goal of providing the sanitation for all by 2012 see the government of india has uh, taken uh, the initiation that sanitation for all means each of the family should have their self um, sanitation facilities uh, providing uh, the basic needs regarding the toilets and drinking water facility and uh, everyone should get the safe drinking water system so it is individual it is not communal so sanitation for all so in this scheme many of the villages uh, have got subsidized uh, toilet means uh, for construction of the toilet uh, uh, they are giving around uh, 15000 rupees per house for the construction of the toilet so most of the uh, if you see in karnataka most of the karnataka have been 99 uh, 90 to 95% they have completed by building the toilets for all the villages so when it comes to the sanitation normally we talk about uh, the rural peoples we have to take care of the rural because there we don't have any centralized uh, wastewater treatment plant or centralized uh, water treatment plant so there we have to target it and the whatever the initiation they have taken for the sanitation for all uh, it is directed towards uh, the uh, the rural places even if you see that uh, the unethical use of uh, the uh, drinking water system in this diagram this is causing the many diseases so then rural sanitation of course uh, india's first nationwide program on the rural sanitation the central rural sanitation program was launched in 1986 still it is continuing means you can see that they are constructing the latrines um and it is uh, directed towards the women empowerment because uh, uh, women will face a lot of problems if the sanitation if the rural sanitation is not good the program was uh, reconstructed again in april 1990 and still it is continuing which focuses on the demand driven approach in the phased manner with a view of total with a wider range of rural population by end of the ninth five year plan of course still it is a 10th five 10th five years plan is completing and the 10th five year plan um, it is mainly focused on uh, the rural sanitation and um, 
around 1 to 2 percent of the GDP has been invested on this area itself. So of course this is a total sanitation scheme for the students also. Um, it has been taken with the uh, support of the uh, students who are staying in the uh, schools because um, the most of the things have to uh, start from uh, the schools itself because uh, their uh, children are going to come to the schools and if you educate them normally that child will transfer to them their mothers and fathers and they have to educate their parents and the scheme has been launched with the support of them so major goal is to stop the open defecation by 2012 so of course the initiation has a good response from the villages also so now um, we can say uh, if you see the Indian statistics uh, last year around more than uh, 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 one crore of uh, uh, the toilets have been built all over India in a single year and it has reached uh, around the completion of 80 to 85 percent all over India for in Karnataka it is almost 90 to 95 percent so it follows the principle of uh, no to low subsidize where the normal nominal subsidy is given to in form of incentives or the construction of the toilets that I already explained and if you see this uh, growth how exactly uh, this uh, uh, scheme has been uh, uh, developed if you see the graph so in uh, 2010 it was around 68 percent now it has reached to 90 to 95 percent so nirmal gram puraskar is one more uh, very uh, prominent objective uh, of this uh, project so nirmal gram proskar is an innovative incentive scheme for those uh, gram panchayat blocks uh, districts which have attained a cent percent sanitation coverage in their respective geographical areas so cent percentage sanitation includes the eradicating the manage of the open defecation provision of the sanitation facilities in household and educational institutions and general cleanliness in villages an amount of ranking from 50,000 to 5 lakhs is given to the uh, panchayats depending on the populations for creating their sanitation infrastructure and maintenance so in the year if you see that how many jilla panchayats have awarded this nirmal gram proskar means 100 percent sanitation with the all necessary um, uh, drinking water schemes and all those things so in 2006 it was 760 27 495 means if you see the growth so means uh, if they are giving this uh, nirmal gram puraskar means 100 percent sanitation with all facilities means day by day it is uh, year by year increasing means everybody is following the good sanitation practices in their uh, villages so if you see that 2010 it was around 28 again it is decreased but if you see the statistics of uh, 2020 now it was around 1 lakh so they have given um, for 1 lakh villages nirmal gram for a scar so if you see the rural sanitary mart so rural sanitary mart plays an important role in uh, facilitating supply of uh, sanitary products and services in rural india so its function is to accelerate the pace of sanitation program and to provide the needs based and economically viable sanitation options so under this uh, uh, rural sanitation programs during the last decades around uh, 1.5 million schools in the country have been provided with the sanitation facilities uh, 0.36 million anganwadis have gained access to safe sanitation facilities so they have you can see in this diagram um rural sanitation marts have been created to provide the better sanitation for all so uh, the remaining things uh, we will continue in the next class